over the state, parents and community members are uh, protesting the governor's budget proposal, which was, uh, to be clear, $1.4 million <coughs> in proposed cuts, uh, the largest proposed cut to schools in the history of New York State. The, uh, and, you know, I'm going to put this in the context of the economy and the economic downturn and crisis we're facing and the need to turn our economy around. The governor has been right to say that we need a 21st century knowledge-based economy. But this budget proposal sends knowledge to the back of the class. And that is not going to do it for our school children, and it's not going to do it for turning our economy around. As you are aware, Governor Patterson is making a proposal to cut $1.4 billion statewide. This is so unfair to children. It's so unfair to parents when we want the best for our child. CEJ has a clear vision for what needs to be done for our kids to meet the 21st century um, economy. And that's preparing them for college and career training and also excellent teachers and long school days to where they will get the resources that they so deserve. You know, the message we need to send out to Governor Patterson, the pencils. You know, we are tired of broken promises at the stake of our kids not sure. getting what they need. And this is a message for Governor Patterson and this is what the parents in the community think. Broken promises, no more. Thank you. Thank you, Gail, and we will be delivering these pencils to the governor and to members of the legislature today because, to be clear, okay, everybody's talking about, well, everybody's got to give, everybody's got to give. Let's be clear what's happened for the last 15 years. School children have been giving and giving and giving in order to balance the state's budget. So true. Okay? This is not our personal opinion. This is the opinion of the highest court in New York State. Sure. The New York Sorry. State Court of Appeals ruled multiple times in the CFE lawsuit that our schools were underfunded. What's that mean in terms of the state budget? That means that for many years, for 15 years of the time that that was winding through the courts, that uh, the state was balancing the budget by underfunding our schools. In announcing a $1.4 billion cut to education and the breaking of the promises of CFE, it begs the question, does the governor think we're done in meeting the constitutional rights of our students? 26% of kindergarten students are in class sizes larger than 25. 54% of K-8 to students are in classes larger than 25. And it spikes when you get to 6 to 8, those critical grades, 80%. 25% of high school students in the four core subject areas required for the Regents Diploma are in class sizes of 34 or more. The governor's recovery budget fails to provide the most important ingredient for economic recovery, investment in New Yorkers, and especially in New York school children. School cuts are not only a huge step backward for our kids, they will also drive our economy further into the ground. In 2007, we finally saw with the enactment of the new school aid formula an investment, an investment in our schools, a chance for schools to improve. Um, and now we're going backwards. Our kids can't wait 10 more years to be able to have a decent school to go to and an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to graduate and go on to a good job or on to college. They sure. need that right now. And our state can't afford the Im economic impact of layoffs and, and a worse educational system in the state. So our kids are hurt at the same time as our economy is hurt. Kids can't afford this budget and New York State can't afford this budget. That is unacceptable that in the downturn in the economy that we don't invest in our future. We understand that these are tough economic times that many of us have ever seen, but our young people can't wait. And voters across, this, across the state and across the United States are determined that they're gonna bring clear messages. They're gonna come up to Albany and tell their elected leaders that this is not the time to break a promise and turn their back on the struggles that we've made and the gains that we've made in the last 17 years. We have this broken pencil. And these broken pencils here, over 1,000 of them, were uh, uh, brought here because they were broken at a rally that occurred in New York City this weekend by parents. There are being pencils being broken all over the state today. Throughout this legislative session, we will be again and again delivering broken pencils to 
symbolize the broken promise that was delivered last year.